So, um, I'm sure most of you are aware that um, SpaceX decided to launch or test launch, test flight their SN8 prototype of the Starship um, over the last few days. And unfortunately, it kind of exploded, had a bit of a hiccup. But still, man, it's pretty impressive to see something that's happening in real life, right? IRL is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, I think the initial test was for it to go up to a certain altitude, um, do that amazing belly flop uh, maneuver that it does where it sort of, you know, um, turns off a few engines so it could go horizontal and then it sort of falls back down to earth using the flaps to kind of guide its way down and then just as it's about to reapproach um the landing pad it turns a few of the engines back on again so it can go back upright and it sort of slow burns back down as slowly as it can onto a landing strip similar to how the booster rockets do so it's pretty incredible and that's the maneuver that they're going to use when eventually the starship ends up taking um you know human life to um, uh, the red planet that is mars so this is from cnet so spacex starship explodes spectacularly after successfully um successful high altitude test flight right because you know they've they've kind of revolutionized it obviously by making it reusable there's going to be obviously a booster um what, no, what's it called not booster what's it called at the bottom there's going to be another rocket at the bottom that they're going to use to sort of like send it into orbit and then um then they're going to that rocket's going to come back refuel and then refuel it again and keep going back up in four times before it goes to mars so the idea is to of course get this technique right but in order to kind of iterate as fast as possible to kind of ramp up production and get us going as soon as we can um, because elon musk believes in us being interplanetary species for the I guess for the what you call it to make sure that we survive as a species in the long term because obviously the damage that we're doing to the earth blah de, blah 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 he's decided to do this thing where he's iterated loads of different prototypes i think they have like 14 or something i think it's up to 14 so um this is obviously sn8 um and then of course sn8 exploded so they're gonna go they're gonna gather the learnings from the test flight and then implement that into sn9 and continuing on continuing on continuing on until they have one ready um to take their maiden voyage so this is from cnet spots the basic starship explodes particularly after successful um high altitude test flight it says Elon Musk Starship prototype, as you can see, it's falling back to the Earth. Like, look how cool that looks, man. That is so awesome to see. Um, Elon Musk Starship SNA prototype, reminiscent of something Buck Rogers might have piloted, fell um, serenely and silently through the Texas sky for almost two minutes on Wednesday. Then its Raptor engines roared to life, uh, writing the rocket into a vertical orientation in preparation for landing. But it was a little too late, or maybe some of both. A few seconds on, and one particular, and one spectacular explosion later, SpaceX's latest next generation rocket prototype followed its first successful high altitude flight with a hard landing that sure to be an instant member of the gif and meme halls of fame <laughs> definitely but look at it it just looks so incredible the flap sort of maneuvering as it sort of tries its best to um the whole idea from what i understand is that they, i guess when it i guess the gravity in mars is far greater than it is here on earth so the idea is that it needs to kind of reduce its speed to a certain level so that when it re-enters the atmosphere on mars it can softly land so that's kind of the issue that they kind of have um, here in terms of testing it, because I guess the gravity on Earth is a lot hot, is a lot greater than what it is on Mars. Um, but in general, anyway, that's the best way to land uh, a spacecraft, off, I think, from what they say. I wonder why you don't just learn, like, why it's not possible or why it isn't effective to learn a rocket. I guess because it's a rocket and you don't want to make, you don't want to kind of take up space with wings. I wonder why you just can't land it like the way an airplane does, that sort of like, on the ground that way maybe that's a bit hard in terms of spatial awareness and all that sort of stuff um who knows um it continues here SpaceX found that Elon Musk, who had a long warn that such a rapid, unscheduled disassembly was possible, uh, was among the first delighted on massive, uh, delighted masses, but for technical and primal reasons. He said the following: um, successful ascent here, switch over to header tanks and precision flap control to landing point. So I guess all the points that he wanted to kind of um, run through in a successful manner it happened of course it exploding at the end wasn't you know um something that was planned for but the actual things that are probably the hardest to get right lift off um because for ascent switch over to header tanks precision uh, flap control to landing point were all sort of ticked off he continues here it says fuel header tank pressure was low during the landing burn causing touchdown velocity to be high and rud i don't know what that means um 
but we all got all the data we needed. Congrats, SpaceX team. Hell yeah. So he's really excited about that. Great to see, man. This is latest Starship um, iteration finally lifted off from his pad around 2.45 p.m. on Wednesday. An early attempt on Tuesday was aborted with just one second left due to an issue with the Raptor engines. A few minutes into the Wednesday flight, one of the three Raptor engines stopped firing. According to Musk, each touch shutdown was intentional and the engines did great. So I guess I think we're, because we're already watching it, I think the engine here that we're seeing, we all assume assumed us spacex nerds that there was something wrong with that third engine here there's three raptor engines here on the inside but that wasn't necessarily the case that was all intentionally done uh, by spacex in order to kind of i, I guessing to allow it to re-enter to the no maybe, maybe it was just a test in general to make sure they could individually turn on off and on the raptors who knows this is way above my intake level but i'm still really interested in it it continues about four minutes into the flight a second um engine shut down and a craft seemed to hover for a while until the final raptor shut down yes and it uh began its free fall back to the earth uh, as it approached the ground the raptors and thrusters um, situated under the rocket were used to perform a flip maneuver and orient vertically in preparation for a landing burn like we've become used to seeing with the company's smaller Falcon 9 rockets. That burn didn't appear to slow down its night soon enough or quickly enough as it came in for a rough and explosive landing. Notably, the wreckage showed that it did uh, hit the middle of the landing pad, which is amazing. You can watch the full spectacular here below on our YouTube channel. Yeah, so yeah, amazing to see, man. Mars, here we come. The test flight brings a Starship much closer to a trip to Mars than ever before, but it's obviously still a way to go. He said here, uh, this is st this suborbital flight is designed to test a number of objectives from how the vehicle free the vehicle's free Raptor engines perform and the overall aerodynamic entry capabilities of the vehicle, including its body flaps to how the vehicle manages propellant transition. SpaceX wrote earlier this week, Mars and SpaceX have continued to improve the company's next generation rocket intended to eventually transport thousands of earthlings to mars and the moon and other destinations over the past 18 months a handful of short test flights of hops have seen a prototype lift off the pad at Boca chica texas rise to an elevation of 500 feet which is my one of my favorite to see that go up or come back down so cool and then come back down to a soft landing the hops have been remarkable success so far intersped with some dramatic ground test failures along the way next up stakes basic stands apply flight sorry another prototype sn9 and work towards the first orbital flight so so absolutely cool to see. So yeah, big up all the SpaceX nerds, uh, Marcus House and a few other people who I follow online for keeping me update with all this sort of stuff. It's been an amazing thing to keep my mind occupied. Um, sans all the nonsense COVID talk.